Hello guys, um, before we can start, I would like to mention that this tutorial requires a little bit of uh, knowledge about the tool already. I'm not going to talk about every individual step in detail in this one. If you want to learn Marvelous Designer, I can highly recommend to check out my other tutorial, An Introduction to Marvelous Designer. My name is Marcel and I would like to show you how to make a trash bag in Marvelous Designer. I do have a reference here for you to look at um, and as you can see it's an ordinary trash bag there's you can barely notice that there is something in it I see some sharper edges and some more organic uh, shapes in there too and I would like to do this entirely in Marvelous Designer I don't want to use Max or uh, ZBrush or any other tools in order to get something that looks roughly like uh, the picture here you see in the reference and um, you could later on bake it down and use it as a prop in your game for instance so this would basically at the end create a, a cool looking high poly model that you can put into like as i said into a game or a movie or whatever the technique that i would like to use um, is uh, fairly simple i want to make a couple of objects in marvelous designer uh, that are going to represent uh, the the content of the bag. Then I want to make two planes and basically sew them together on all sides, close them off basically, and then hopefully have uh, something that kind of looks like a trash bag. Uh, and um, all of the objects are basically um, inside of that cloth piece. So let's start by creating a couple of those um, objects for the inside, the, the content of the bag, so to say. And uh, we'll start with something simple, like a cushion kind of shape. I'm going to darken the material here a little bit. I'm using the segment sewing tool to sew those pieces together. Okay. Add a bit of pressure, like five. And this is our first shape. This could be, I don't know, like an old piece of pizza or something. This might be a little bit too soft, um, but we can later on harden um, the material afterwards. What I can do already is to use a different preset. Maybe leather is going to give it a bit of a bit better stiffness. Yeah, maybe. Let's give it a try. And uh, I can basically create a bunch of these. Uh, copy paste them around a little bit and change their dimensions so it doesn't all look the same maybe another one that is a bit more square shaped and smaller Probably do a couple of round ones too. And I'm using the free sewing tool here to the 360. Let's see if that worked out. Okay, looks good. Only thing missing is a bit of pressure. We use five here as well. Okay, where do you go? It doesn't look correct. Might have some inverted normals here. Let me see. Or oh, five was just too much. Let's try it with two. <laughs> okay. Um, I might do have some flip normals here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, 
that was the case. Um, more pressure. And I'm going to make that piece a bit larger too. Okay. It's like an old burger sitting in there or some nasty organic material. I'm going to make another one here that is even larger. All right. Um, what I need to do now is I basically need to um, arrange those objects now in midair so I can wrap um, some uh, cloth around it. Starting with the big one at the bottom and then I'm trying just trying to keep it as close as possible um, and hopefully have something that fits nicely into the trash bag later on. I don't have a system now, I just hope it's going to turn into interesting shapes later on. another one here come back down here all right now I need my two planes and therefore I create new geometry and let's compare okay that's way too large so I need to shrink that one down a bit quite a bit okay the width looks all right but it's a bit too high That could work. Let's see. Going to put this on the opposite side. And um, I'm going to sew the sides together. But in order to get that knot kind of effect here, I need to do one more thing um, beforehand, uh, which is um, that was the wrong tool. I need to offset that line internally um, because then I'm going to sew those two lines together individually and leave the top open which will hopefully get us a cool um, knot effect here I'll make a new material that looks a bit more like black plastic first um, pick a dark grey Increase the specularity and um, make it shinier. Okay, and now back to the segment zoom tool. Start with the sides and with the bottom, and then that line that we created on the inside. So you can see the top is open. And in order to create uh, an actual knot later on, I will take those two lines and um, add elasticity to them. Let's start a simulation and see where we're at. Okay, a couple of objects didn't make it. And let's see which one popped out. That small one here. That probably the reason is that it's intersecting with uh, another one so I will push it down a little bit and that seemed to have fixed the problem okay that's cool all right it's a little bit of something 
poking through here. Might be able to fix it just by shaking it a bit. But it's already a good start. Okay, next step is the knot itself. Um, as I said, select those two lines. Turn on elasticity. Strength all the way up. And now the ratio down. Which should bring it together quite nicely. Okay. Uh, trash bag might have been a little bit too empty. Um, I could have easily put one more of those objects in and on the top, so it's kind of falling up, um, down a little bit too much. I might actually do this really quickly. So I need to do a couple of undos here. And I'm going to just pick one of those guys here. Where are you? And um, put a few more of these uh, at the top here. Just need to make sure that there's no intersection happening, otherwise it's going to fly around again. Maybe make it a bit shorter. And let's do another one. Okay, let's see if that works. Nope, I need to go further down. Those guys are not going to stay in. So, um, probably need to tilt it a little bit. Yeah, I fixed it. All right. Have to repeat the step with the elasticity because I have done the undo. Now I will just put it into like a nice position. The good thing is that you could at one point just create like tons of different variations if you want to have a base that works like this one. Um, you can put more stuff into it or kind of change the angle a little bit and let it fall a couple of times until you have shapes that, that you like. I'm going to increase the resolution um, of the plastic here to get more detailed uh, folds and wrinkles on the surface and I am also going to change the default preset of the plastic to silk because it doesn't look so much like foil and hopefully that thin material is going to make a bit of a difference silk didn't work so well so maybe there was another one that was really thin I think it was nylon. Okay, that looks better. Let's let it do its simulation for a little bit. Yeah, um, it's a little bit squashed down. Um, and what we could do probably to uh, fix that is to put more pressure on the content. Right now we have five. Let's put it to eight and see if it makes a difference. Oh, and I also could check on the, the preset and you probably use full grain leather which is even stiffer than the normal leather um, uh, this requires a lot more space and maybe it will give us more convincing results you could even mix up 
full grain leather with normal leather materials for the for the content of the trash bag if um, if you're not happy with the results give it a bit of a push towards the right so it doesn't tip over okay um, I think the pressure is a bit too high it really pushes the cloth out um, which looks a bit unnatural so um, I will see if uh, bringing it down to something like three is going to fix that no maybe one mm -mm. it doesn't look that convincing so full grain leather probably wasn't the best solution here um, let's see what hardware does it's a little bit softer so I, cr I get a couple of more folds and wrinkles along um, the sides that looks kind of cool let me grab this one before it tilts over Once you have um, a shape that you like, um, you can pause the simulation at any point and just freeze the object. Um, I can basically say, okay, now I like it and I can take the trash bag as it is right now and then I have to admit it doesn't look too bad. If we look at our reference now, um, it's close. Um, we could still um, increase the resolution here. Um, to hopefully get an even more crisper um, surface here it's going to probably take a while to adjust all of the wrinkles well actually looks good okay um yeah uh that is pretty much it um i'm going to do a couple of smaller tweaks here Mm, one would be to change the color to something darker Let's see if we can fix the shininess a little bit to read the shapes better that's not too convincing and um, if you want to bake this down to low poly um, I can show you a, a quick trick of how you can um, get a base low poly really quickly um, this trash bag here is pretty high res now and um, you can easily make a a copy of that one and um, decrease the resolution of that object to something a lot lower the good thing is um, it stays pretty close to um, the original high poly model so um, it is a very very good start for high poly and uh, often it even works out of the box as a low poly and you don't have to do that many tweaks it's already UV mapped as well um, and uh, is you probably need to tweak a little bit uh, afterwards in max but you can easily Kind of uh, increase and decrease the resolution depending on uh, how high poly you want the low poly to be at the end of the day okay um yeah to sum it up uh for for the contents you have to create a handful of assets make two planes uh, wrap them around in midair and uh, then you have a good base to start with and you can create like tons of different trash bag variations with th that are even fuller uh, less full have different shapes bent over fallen over uh, leaning against something whatsoever uh, quite easily and um, yeah thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon in one of the future tutorials bye